Hey Muscular Development, this is Steve Kukolo with Alice and Franz. We're at our last almost live uh, in the trenches today. We're doing some hamstrings. Give you a little um, kind of idea of how we like to do our split and how we like to do hamstrings. Um, I'll have Allison kind of touch, talk about how we went into um, you know some of the exercises today, and then um, uh, also you t lately we've been doing our, our split a uh, quad ham split, and uh, because we feel that you know um, both of us need an improvement in our hamstrings. Um, it's one of those body parts that you know it's not in the front you don't see it a lot so they tend to be neglected a little bit because they're not as fun to train like quads or chest or something that you see all the time and um, so we typically like to, to focus one day completely on hamstrings and really just blow them out and um, we usually do about uh, three to four days between hamstrings and quads because um, we'll train them either Wednesday Thursday and then train quads Sunday or Monday and it's quad dominant and then hamstring dominant day this is all time under tension stuff that we're doing it's not necessarily counting reps like 12 reps but it's like what you can do rep wise in a set amount of time so it's 50 seconds what we're doing uh, you know as we're getting closer you know again we're doing a lot of supersets a lot of drop sets a lot of um, just a lot of volume so I'll kind of have Allison take over and talk about what we did today um, she wrote up a lot of the workout and um, you know there's no such expression when training with Allison that's just you know train like a girl that's that's far from it I mean she's she's an ass kicker and we uh, and and she's got crazy endurance crazy strength so for me it's it's a good push because I think she's got some incredible glute ham in tie-ins and um, you know one of the things I really wanted to work on so uh, she'll talk about what we did today so for hamstrings as Steve mentioned you know we both are looking to enhance them and just make them a little bit more round. So even on our quad day, we'll start with the hamstring, just also too, because I find even doing hamstrings first that it really opens up your quads and allows for better, you know, a feel, uh, so to speak, uh, for the quads. Um, it loosens them up a little bit too, because if your hamstrings are tight and you're trying to do quads, it, you know, you can't really get into the muscle as much. But anyway, I like to vary the rep ranges a lot with hamstrings. Uh, predominantly, you know, we like to stay with the heavier, and by heavier it's all relative but in the about 8 to 12 um, sometimes we'll go a little bit lower oftentimes we'll go higher and just to get that time under tension uh, we even started out doing 50 seconds time under tension in the single leg curls you know just for that feel and to really get that pump before we start um, so. so that 50 second mark is is really good for the hypertrophy so we want to make sure that we keep in that 50 second range no matter how many reps you get as long as you have that time under tension for 50 seconds it really kills then we went into a giant set. Again, there was more time under tension too, but we went a little bit heavier. We did the, the sumo squat, which really focuses on the adductors um, and gets that good stretch, good range of motion. Then we did the stabilizer where we did the glute um, stability ball, like the, the prone raises. Yeah, it doesn't look hard, but give it a try. Mm -hmm. um, and then we finished that giant set with a dumbbell curl also too. When you're doing the dumbbell curls, um, atypical from a line curl machine, you actually are required to, uh, you know, to stabilize that dumbbell, which is a workout in and of itself. So before you even start the range of uh, the, you know, the actual exercise, you're having to contract your hamstrings, which is, I think a lot of people lose sight of that when they jump onto the line curl machine, you know, the machine actually does it for you. So a lot of this stuff is really just being smarter about how we train versus just running through the, the motions. difficult than it looks. I mean, 
it's just the weight of the ball. But to really bring it up with your glute and then to like isometrically hold it back down, it takes a lot out of your glute, which is what essentially what we're trying to focus on. <laughs> Good. Good. Yep, one more, one more, come on. Up, good. You know, hamstrings work primarily the mass you're gonna build off of the lower rep range, just based on the fibers in the hams. But what's so important is like with like the isometric stuff that you use with like your stabilizers, using just your stabilizers to actually pull up the weight, which is just the, the weight of the ball, which is nothing, is very difficult and it's, in order to strengthen anything else, you need those stabilizers so that you don't hurt yourself. So I incorporate a lot of that stuff when we train legs just to make sure that we're injury prevention, you know, so to speak. can't really beat the stiff legged deadlift when it comes to a mass builder so we, we go heavier on that um, carefully you know you'll see a lot of times or you can even probably see in the video I don't like to come all the way up and force my back into hyperextension so I keep it on the lower end um, of the range of motion but just keep that constant movement focusing on the the negatives as we go down Good. with a you know, pretty heavy glute um, to focus on the glutes we did the step ups they are weighted uh, to, to just round out the glutes a little bit more um, for both of us so overall you know that's one example um, you know always vary your rep ranges you know work under that time under tension change up your exercises and uh, we found it to be really really effective especially in hitting our hamstrings twice so so I'm excited I'm really excited for Steve I'm looking forward to him stepping on stage it's been a little bit since the uh, since the New York Pro which is um, his debut and he's made some tremendous tremendous improvement so it's exciting I have Tampa in, in two weeks and and we'll we'll keep on moving both trying to get to the Olympia this year so yeah maybe that's the ultimate goal and um, you know I think we've we've both made improvements for me taking the time spending a, a little over a year kind of focusing on, on getting life together moving and doing a lot of uh, you know a lot of focused training on, on bringing up certain body parts my back my my hamstrings my just I mean for me personally I'm not I'm, I'm not so much focused on I'm just gonna train one body part like and kill it I feel like if you train everything hard and everything will kind of start coming together and growing together um, you know for Allison she does a lot of shows and, and and continues to make progress every show and I think that's mainly what the sports about is is progressing in the right direction and and making that that constant improvement to your own physique because you can't control what somebody else does you can't control you know how your competition is going to look you have to focus on yourself and what you can do to improve what you have um, and then that's the goal you know I think every year every show if you get a little bit of condition you improve your size your shape or whatever it is that's kind of you know coming out on top and ultimately what the, what the goal of, of our sport is so it's exciting to be able to share some of the information give you a look at what we do and you know it's not all about you know crazy heavy stuff all the time and um, 
you know so I just kind of focus this is a lot more focused training isolation training and um, you know it's a little bit different and you know it it gets out of the typical rut of, of you know um, of kind of bodybuilding is you know just lifting heavy weight and get in there yeah buddy style stuff this is you know really specific training on on how to for us uh, shape and improve our muscle you know and um, you know I, I think it's 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 worked so far and we're excited to kind of present it on stage in a few weeks and and uh, you know glad we got to share this with you guys MD you guys are wonderful we thank you for all the support and uh, you know, you can find Ellison and I on Instagram, on Twitter, on Facebook, you know, get on there. I know, you know, we got a lot of a lot of people that follow us and we try to get pictures updated. I mean, Ellison's better at taking stuff at home than I am, but I like to share a little bit of life when I travel and, and at the fire station, all kinds of stuff. And Allison's got, you know, she's been helping me so much with cooking and she's got a great column on Fitness Rx, you know, one of the MD uh, affiliates that we, she does a lot of the, the healthy recipes and stuff, so make sure you check that out. and. Um, so again, MD, we'll get a lot more stuff coming up in the future, but here we are, you know, two and three weeks out of our competition. So Steve Kukla, Allison Fran, we'll see you soon. Thank you for coming out and God bless you guys. Thank you.